Good morning, it's still morning, just. We are in Satisfactory this morning. I turned the graphics back up to high. Um, as it wasn't really affecting the issues that it is. That the, the, the graphics weren't the thing that was causing the issues. We've not been able to start the game, so I've, I've turned them back up. So we now got shadows and it looks a little. And it looks a bit more prettier. Um, yesterday we I did a little bit of a tour around. Um, I even climbed up to the top of that waterfall. Halfway up that waterfall, or somewhere over uh, over that direction, there's a bunch of rocks that can be blown up. So I'm going to be doing that at some point. I've been working on making dynamite and things. Now. We had issues yesterday um, keeping these power stations running. Now, the coal power stations running. And I was struggling to get the power situation under control and I couldn't work out why. Why we were having such issues. Now, we have four, yeah, we have four mines just feeding this and I couldn't work out, two of them are over there, two of them are over there, all going in on these conveyors. Okay, we had a little bit split off to go and do the steel, which the steel now has two more. So the steel has, uh, uh, let's say, two and a half, and these have three and a half. Um, now, you'll notice this belt comes into this, this, um, merger here this belt comes into this merger this but this merger and this splitter are really close together this splitter then sends out some of its products up to the steel some of it straight off to the power stations this belt is a mark 4 belt mark 4 belt mark 4 belt mark 4 belt no problem there right okay this belt right here in between these two mark 1 <laughs> so whatever's coming down this belt and this belt is just clogged because of a Mark 1 belt right here. Now it's fine. When I came down here yesterday, this belt was barely trickling anything. These two belts right here were full. And I'm like, and this belt was trickling. And I'm like, why? Why are these two full? This one's not, this one's not. What's going on here? And then I, I noticed there was a little white dot. Instead of a light white strip there, there was just a dot. And I'm thinking, well, oh, that, that's that's the problem. That the belt was not right. So we've ended up getting all of this back online. Everything's full, everything's working. All the lights are green. Those little batteries up over there aren't popping their hats. <laughs> so, so yeah. Now let me go in here and see if I can make one of. Um, well, I need the actual machine that makes the. I can make the dynamite, but why aren't I making? Why can't I make? Where is it? Oh, it's down here. This. I need a object scanner and for an object scanner I need screws and reinforced plating. Alright, that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, reinforced plates I need screws, screws, I need screws. Okay, let's get those done. Now um Phase three is almost done. So as soon as, I, as soon as I've done this, what I'm doing here, I'm gonna um, go and see if I can get the rest of what we need to finish off phase three. Then I'm switching that machine off until we've actually got nuclear power, and then we can switch it back on. 
so we've got that and we need some of these Usually when I make um, I know, a piece of equipment for me, I make one for Xena too, so let's make enough screws to make a one. Right, actually, what the heck? What's that? Oh, it's, yeah. Let's make another one of those. down because my office is going right there. Changed things around a bit, we, we put some windows in, we've got some lights just here but we, I, I was going to do the do more lights but um, other things took over. Sort of like got like I'll do this, oh I need to do that, oh I'll do this and yeah things just like never actually got done. Well some stuff got done but not everything I wanted to get done yesterday. Right, so we're up here. This is our temporary um, modular engine factory. Um, still haven't got enough to make. Come on, guys. Why aren't you making anything? Motors. Seriously? Why aren't we getting motors now? Um, motors. They're coming from somewhere up there, aren't they? Let's go and have a look what's holding up the motors. So we've got what screws in here. Yep. I think motors are on this level. Oh, that could be it. Motors need rotors, don't they? That could be it. That could be the problem. Why aren't you getting plates?
attached to the box, right? It is. So why aren't they coming up faster? Oh, frustrating. Right. Um. Screws. It's just, just one thing after another. Not getting enough screws. And I think the motors are in. Is are that the state is it is it is uh, it's the rotors that are causing the issue. There's, there's plenty of stators for making rotors, it's just the, the rotors aren't getting made fast enough. Okay, so I need to fix this 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 screw problem that's coming up, coming up over here.
So if, if the bottom one is the, the, the middle one's empty. Okay, so the middle one's empty. So okay, let's change that then. Let's go get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's see what. So the middle one is. to be open. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I, it, it's supposed to be a, it's supposed to be walled up and everything, but um, well, my car's not even here. Where's my car? In fact, oh, I know where Zena's car is. So let's go see if Zena's car's got some petrol. Well, as soon as I'm the one who keeps going and getting you new more petrol, I think. I think. There's still some in there for it to move, so that's okay. Right, back up here. Um, wall. <laughs> Walk into the door. Right, let's go back up here. Let's get that one. And turn it that way. Off they go. So, now we should have... Yes. God. Right, let's go back to this. Um. Why is it? I know what's causing this issue. There's belts down here aren't working right. I have got stuff down here waiting to go, and it's just not going through fast enough. Yeah. Zina, 
so you're in here now? Okay. I thought you were still in um, FS22. See what the screws are doing over it. I think that was me that did that. Um, let's see how the screws are made. Uh, we don't have the alternative recipe yet. Yeah, really. We need more. But we need more. Um, we need more hard drives. It's right, you come up the ramp from the hub, turn left, it's parked underneath the ramp. <laughs> so, all of these. Uh, full of iron rods, so I could probably get more of these in here, so we'll do that, we'll, we'll throw some more of these in, we'll put three more in, see if we can really overload that belt now, with just screws, oh we should put four in it, yeah let's just put let's do, let's go overboard and throw four in. Even if I have to go down to those machines myself and bring up the iron rods. This is, to be honest, this screw plant is small compared to what, what I've normally done. I normally, uh, my, my screw plants are usually flipping half the factory. Um, well, I've just put four new screw plants in, so um, I am ramping up production. Plus, they say. The, the, and, and the thing is, these screw plants are only dealing with um, fr uh, heavy ev every module of frame. No, heavy frame, uh, reinforced plates, and and um, rotors. For the computers, I put in a separate screw plant for those, so they've got their own plant. Th that's not fully running to. To a, a good spec on that, but it's still providing them screws. And I've also put in another screw area for um, heavy modular frames. I think take them. Something over that side takes them. Right, so we've got we've got what we need. We need no, no power, so you need power. Okay, there's, there's their power, so that should be running now. Yeah, it is. Right. Did that actually fill up yet? Yeah. Let's 
let's see if it actually fills. I'm not going to fill these up. Right. That one's full already. So is that one. So they're going to fill up, aren't they? To, to max. So I'm, I'm definitely making enough. I'm definitely making enough iron rods. What I've just done was a completely waste of time. Because... Oh, no, no. One, no, one. So the back f last four I did, right? So they should only just be getting four. This one here has 300... Okay, fine. Bypass the middleman take them straight to the flicking machine myself. <laughs> they're upstairs, aren't they? Yep, they're over here. Hey, dude, look what I've got for you. Some screws. Let me just sort that. You can have all of those. Yep. Yep. I think one more of these is full, right? No, that's not. stopped. <laughs> the screws aren't getting down the belt, they're just clogged up. I mean literally clogged up all the way down the belt. I've got four, one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten screw machines running on this belt. And They are coming down there, but... Um, maybe I should just take that off. Let's take this one out. Now they should just go. Right, they should just go. I'm not getting interrupted by that, because I'm going to take that out altogether. There's some issue there. Remains at 500, remains at 500, we'll sit here a minute. 
Did early early in the in the build of this factory that really it kind of future proofing factories is just it's so hard.
so that is that is my wall right so it should go like that that should be coming through a hole in the floor and we haven't got that done yet no that's not what I wanted let's pull that there And if you're wondering why I've gone to a different colour, I got sick of seeing orange. That's not fixed. You know this this part of the factory will start to irritate me. Um, the way that belt came crossing crossing in here and and yeah, it just wasn't wasn't sitting good with me. These belts are, these belts here are still still not great for me. Right, so what we got? Um, no, I set the ropes up. I think. Because I put two in. Yeah, I set the ropes up. But I, at the time, I wasn't probably thinking how I'd got the rest of the rooms going. It was. See, rotors are one of the early. One of the early. Um, yeah, complex components you make. So when you when when it's when you're fighting to get all the tech sorted out, and, you, and you're trying to just build rush build to get your tech up to a standard where you can get them, the factories running, you don't care how it how it all goes together. 
and it ain't until like late mid game that you start thinking well I'd like my factory to look like this I'd like well there's no way well well th there isn't a storyline to it yet but there will be they're planning on it according to what's going on they're planning on putting a story into it of why you're here and those two, you know, those t the, the the work in progress things that we find, the the, the silver ball and the, the little red stick thing, and the Samo, that's all part of the end story. Um, which we haven't been told about yet. Right, so I'm going to stick another one of these in here, and I can't afford it. Let's jump over here and see if I can grab it. back down there and, and then boxes have got 500 screws in or even a thousand screws in it I could probably make two more well I've got 500 screws on me right now so I could set up another one to run but I want to go and check that box before I do
which needs to be de de dealt with in a better way than that. Okay, so let's get rid of let's get rid of this. I just I just got rid of a flaw. Um, over by, they are over by, no, the, sorry I keep, above or around about the same place that the encased, um, the encased steel beams are. I think they're kind of either the, they're either one room above that way. I think. me. Ah 
I hate these flaw things. They never line up. Stuff it. Screw the flaw things. I'll just go straight through the floor with it. It's freaking ridiculous. They put something in and it, and it becomes so difficult to even get it to line up. Steel, in case steel beams are being made, it's directly above that. It's the top floor of that that room, <clears throat> and I'm still on top of the machine. Keep coming, keep coming. You're below. There you are. See me dancing on top of this machine over here. They're over here. But the, 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 they're currently not running at optimal yet because they're not getting enough modular frames. Have you looked in the box that they're going into? Downstairs next to the where you get where you'd get the um, encased modular frames, encased beams. It's on that same l l link there. Right. So we need. I'm gonna put in one here, one above it. One here, one above it. So we're gonna go from here to there. Here to there. And let's get this all set up now. Splur. Splur. Huh? That's that's a first. Run out of cable. Right. Um. Let me see. This one? Is it this one? This one? Put it in here, eh? Is it? Did you get them? There is! There's a hundred and fifth... hundred and nine! It's sat in this first box here. through the floor. That first box you're just about to come up to. Right, um, back to what I'm doing. I'm trying to, I'm trying 
here to fix fix this factory so that it will. Um, so we'll go there, there. Because I turned off the rotors because I didn't want them to use all the rotors that all of them, I didn't want to use all of the screws before I got the machines back up and running. And I can, I'm, I'm about to turn these back on because they're up, they're wired, they're, they're plumbed back in. These, this one is that, and I'm going to do this. Well, yes and no, because me personally, I don't want don't want to overdo what overdo the stuff. So I try to keep an eye on them. I, I guess I guess it's a bit bit of fifty fifty in it. Right, um, voters are working again, and two more are about to join. something we can't, we can't, we can't make those. <coughs> Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Oh, 
right, so you're gay now. No place. Actually, I need you to be rods. So I've got all the rods out there, I'm going to just go and supply those rotors with them, because that's what we need the most. rods in here so that the rotors can just keep keep on throwing them out. Right, let me go and have a look at up here and see how many how many modulars do we need? How many of these do we need now? Seventeen, you say? I'm sitting with I'm sitting with twenty two of them in my inventory. and rush to get the freaking aluminium running and the nuclear power I do <laughs> miles away from where we are <laughs> oh this is worse than the quartz <laughs> I'll have my motors back, thanks. Those are mine. 
So are those. Well, you had extra, so you've just given, you've just compensated me for the loss of time. Um, right. Okay. Johnny Mo. Right. Let's see. Um, milestone. Milestone. Yes. No. Milestone. Bauxite refinement. Yep. So we need 50 computers, 200 motors, 500 rubber. No, it won't. Motors will be a little bit of a problem, but there won't be a much of a problem because we've got four rotor machines going and the motors aren't going to go anywhere well they are they're gonna go up that they're gonna go up that freaking elevator up to the top to where those machines are but if I stop that if I take that belt down where is it it's on the back there if I take this belt off they're just gonna go into this box right um uh, no. She was about to. <laughs> I think she's just eating this. Let me go see. saves and your saves will be let me just check are there saves on the cloud for for farm sim I'm not sure I'm not sure whether it does or not but to be on the safe side Be on the safe side. Yes, it might be on the cloud, but if it isn't, um, you might need a smart drive or a a port external hard drive or or a flash drive, pen drive, whatever, something like that. You'll go to documents, my computer, uh, documents, 
my games FS22 and all of your saves should be right there you'll see save game 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever they'll all be there and then you just right at left click and hold shift go down to the bottom of your saves left click again drag them onto a, a flash drive new hard drive whichever and then you should be good she's getting a new computer awesome <laughs> right um so let's go and check um well computers I can grab let's go and check let me just he asked me that question in twitch and then he asked me again in in um I think he asked me I saw it come up on Steam that's what yeah it, it, there were messages for him from Steam so that's where that <laughs> yeah I'm, I need to keep glancing over that over to them. Yeah, I don't do it often enough. Okay, so we've got we've got enough modular frames. No we don't. Almost. Yeah, I can. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll send you it through Steam. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, um, freighter re-entry complete. I know that was that was a bit rushed, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Um, and it is. A, it's not that complicated. I just probably made it sound a little more complicated than it actually is. But yeah, I'll send it. I'll send it um, to you. Um, not, not, not a problem. <laughs> if we're more, f if we, <laughs> if we're actual, actual friends, I'd, I'd pop round and do it for you. So we'll grab all of those because that's 50 plus one. Need one more. Just give me one more modular frame, please. Then I will. But yeah, I'll, I'll stick that in a message. When, when you're getting this new computer. Yeah, she's looked to do her, so yeah, I think she does. Um. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I'll send it through Steam. So you'll get it that way. Uh, in fact, I'll do it. While I'm waiting for them, for these items, I'll, I'll send you it now. Um, it's... Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send it now.
we're going to like list it um, each step so you get lots of messages um, open that up and then you go to
need to put info to YouTube before it gets too long.